Good morning, friends. I'm here at Pinna and uh, caught some of those heifers. They were here in the, at the water, some of the mares. There's Stargazer and Billy in Command and Rowdy. has been knocked down a little bit here. I think uh, some elk have come over and jumped it and when they do that they usually mess up this top wire. So we'll look through here and kind of see what we need to do. So they'll come out of the river and uh, they usually jump, they come to the water, you know, or whatever, wherever they come over here, who knows. I put this PVC pipe up, and for the most part, they, they jump in the same place. But if they have some young ones, sometimes they get a little bit confused or a little lost, and then they'll start getting scared, I guess, the train comes by and probably just Scares them enough to push them on over it. So I'm gonna get my stretcher out and just tighten this wire and straighten this up. Put on my gloves. Mostly because it's cold. <laughs> Have my tools. I think Henson talked about having the correct tools and having things for the job. Here's a pair of pliers. This is just like a lineman plier. Uh, these aren't very good, but it's what I have. And this is my fence stretcher. top wire 
back together. So what I'm going to do is I have some tie wire. I'm going to grab that tie wire and tie it back to the cheap post and to the stays. That'll take care of that for now. Until something decides to jump over it again. Just move on. You can see that that tightened it up. Helped it quite a bit. Second wire is a little loose, but I won't worry too much about that one. The rest of it looks good. Until they jump it again. You can see I put another PVC over there been there for a while and uh, they seem to cross that right there quite frequently so as I went on down the railroad just to, to check the uh, the fence I found another spot over here where the elk usually cross and they can cross anywhere within you know a hundred yards of that that they don't necessarily go over the pipe sometimes but by it but at least we you know kind of have them in one area so this is where it's been broken. And, and I can see some tracks where they've been going over it. And then just on the other side here is where the PVC actually is. So I'll go ahead and put this together. So this is a little closer up. See the stretching tool. It has a claw on this side that you can release the wire. And so you could use that just to grab hold of it. And there's one on the other side also. And then a ratchet in the middle. So this is your ratcheting process. So I'll ratchet it. So I can get those two wires right there as close as they can. If I can't get it close enough, then I have to put a, a piece of wire in between and splice it. Like this one, I'll have to splice it. Because I broke, I can't uh, put those two pieces together. So I'll get a piece and splice in between. There are a lot of different ways to splice. What I do is I just, the easiest way, I'm on this old fence like this, is I just uh, loop it back and make an eyelet. And then I'll take this other piece and I'll put it through there and wire it in. I just put that piece of wire back in, spliced it in. Um, I didn't completely twist the wire all up yet. It's a little harder with the stretcher right in the way, but you can get it to where it'll hold it, take it off, and then you can finish it off. But that's what I'll do. So to release this, you, you push it forward, and it'll just release. You'll hear it. Well, it wasn't real tight, but so now it's loose. I can re reach over and take the claw off. It's off there. Do the same on this other side. And there you go. So I'll finish tying that off. There it is. Put it back together. Jerry, what happens when you try talking to cows? Everything goes in one ear and out the udder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>